I'm Connor Brown from uh, Etobicoke, Ontario, and I played for the Toronto Marlies growing up. I went up the street to Duke Source for Sports. That's where me and my brother did all our shopping for all our hockey needs growing up. My dad had me standing on the ice as soon as I could stand off the ice, and uh, you know they were shooting pucks at me. And uh, I was put in organized hockey by the time I was three and a half. Um, a year early, uh, but you know, I, I loved it and that's all I wanted to do, me and my brother when we were growing up, so we weren't playing organized hockey, we were uh, playing shinny. My brother would always let me play in the games with him and his, his buddies in the backyard rink. They wouldn't exactly go easy and, and it was up to me if I wanted to play, I had to keep up and you know, I, I owe a lot, of, uh, a lot of that learning curve that I went through to him and his buddies for uh, just allowing me to, to play with them and learn and, and have fun. My dad was a massive influence on me and my brother and, and really still is with uh, me playing hockey. He's the guy I turn to if I'm, if I'm in a slump or if I feel like I'm not playing my best. He's the first guy I, I always seem to talk to, him and my brother Jeff. Um, he coached, there was a time where he was coaching my Toronto Marley's hockey team and Jeff's Toronto Marley's hockey team. So he put a lot of hours into, into our hockey and into the minor hockey community. So a massive influence on me and my brother's uh, playing career. He just went back to take another minor midget Marley team and, and coach them up. Uh, and he had another 13, 14 kids draft to the OHL. So, you know, he's, uh, he's given a lot to not only the Toronto Marley organization, but a lot to the uh, you know, the GTHL and into minor hockey in Toronto. Him and Dave Stoyanovic, I think they played 32 games over there at the time and he had, a, I think he had 85 goals and 190 points or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, so, you know, if I ever, uh, me and my brother had a good year, he said, well, you didn't have 85. <laughs> he still has the one up on us. Growing up, I always wore number 16, and, and so did my, my brother. And I remember Darcy was number 16 on the Leafs, and, and he was one of our, well, he was one of my brother's favorite players because you know, they're, they're similar in, in that agitating type, uh, type player. And I remember always watching him and, and the way he competes. I, I loved watching him. And obviously, Mats was a, uh, was, you know, he, he was the man in Toronto when I was growing up and, and such, a, uh, such an incredible career. And so he was someone I looked up to too. And you know, I remember, you know, when I first got called up to Leafs, they just gave me a number and, and happened to be 16. And Darcy texted me saying uh, congratulations and, and hinted that he liked my number. And so that was so, something that I'll, uh, I'll look back on. It was a very cool memory for me. Yeah, Morgan and, and Austin and a bunch of guys have uh, has come over and, and had a meal and when they're looking for a good home cooked meal. Uh, guys, uh, especially young guys, that are away from families and, and, and such. That uh, you know, I, and for me, I, I'm going home at least once a week to get a good full meal that uh, mom and dad put together for me. And sharing from my experience is, uh, you know, a lot of people take different paths to to get to where they want to be. Um, and for me, I kind of just stick to enjoying the sport and being around the guys and, and really just trying to maximize my own game and, and get it to the highest level it could be. And, and it was easy for me because I really love to be on the ice and I, and I love to be around the guys. So my advice is to just really enjoy it and it makes working hard not seem like work. <laughs>